Hey animators, I've been working on the path animation tool and I've come up with a way to automate some of the setup to make it a lot quicker. So I thought I'd demonstrate that. Um, in, I'm going to create the path curves. Uh, so I've got one on the ground and one going through his body. And uh, I'm going to create the uh, hooks that bring him along the path for his hips, for his chest and for his head. You might notice his head is actually just an FK control. So there's actually no translates on that, but the uh, tool will, will still work with that. Now I'm going to create body hooks for selected. And you'll see something new. It's uh, Whereas previously I had to go in and adjust these offsets by hand, now it actually sets them up right on the pivot. So there's a little procedure I've added that kind of figures out the best position for them. So that, that's it for those. I'll set those up. Then I'm going to set them up for the feet. And uh, another kind of related to that, another feature I've added, if you select two feet, like if you set a pair of feet, like I said, the front and right left feet, and you create the hooks, it'll ask, it'll say two, two controllers were selected, are these a matching pair of left right controllers? And in this case they are, so I say yes. And what it does is it averages out the two offsets for those, so it puts them right in the middle. Basically positions are perfect for those two feet. So I'm going to do the same thing with the back ones, create ground hooks, and again it'll ask, and I go, yep, yeah. and then it's, again it's figured out the perfect position for those two. I'm going to do the, the uh, pull vectors as well. Uh, I'm going to attach those to the body curve. Um, yep. And then lastly, these two. Oops. These two pull vectors. Great body hooks. So again, it's those are symmetrical, so I've set them up. And that's it. Like, the only other thing I have to do now is just mute the uh, keyframe on this, because I have my walk cycle at the moment is it's walking off using the, the global control, so I'm going to just mute the Translate Z on that. So now I've got them treadmilling in place. Uh, I've got my frame range here, the loop frame set to 1 to 33, which is the length of the cycle. So I'm just going to attach the rig to hooks. So that's going to go through and it's going to bake each of those uh, controls to that. It's going to take a little bit to do that, so I'll speed that bit up. And that's it, it's set up. So now I can hide his controls. And uh, if I animate this uh, path travel, I'll move him along the path. So I'm just going to sit, go back to frame 1 here and key that. Go to frame 2, and I'll key it on maybe 0.5 or something like that. That's obviously too much. I'll go to the graph editor, make that linear, uh, curves post infinity cycle with offset, and then I'll just reduce it and flip back and forth on those two keys until his feet stop sliding. So this is the only kind of manual bit that's left now in the process. Sliding back a tiny bit, sliding forward a tiny bit, so I'll zoom in. So this is the one bit that takes a little bit, a bit of finessing. There we go. That's pretty clean. Uh, so off he goes. And uh, I mentioned earlier that his head is FK. You might wonder, well, why attach it to the path? But it actually still works, even though it's FK, he will actually look along the path. So as I grab these two, oops. Uh, yeah, I want those two. I'm going to grab those two. So you'll see he will, his head will follow the path even though it's only FK. He's kind of looking along that path. Uh, so that's it. So the workflow is a lot quicker now than it was. A lot less manual work to do to get it set up and walking on the path. Cheers!